Hey guys, it's me. I'm back and I'm bringing you another two-for-one R-Build review. Second one of the night. This R-Build will be the Bionicle 2015 Liwa Master of Jungle and Protector of Jungle sets. And like I said in the Kopaka R-Build, we get to see this box, which I'll show off when we build him. And obviously we see Liwa. Jumping in action over a blue spider, which is again another new color and obviously we see his gold mask Yeah, not special until we get on to their review build so let's Let's see if we're welcome to the jungle Obviously, we're gonna start with the protector of jungle here and as you can tell on the box It's literally the front of the box is literally the front of the instruction manual and obviously we have a crossbow mini gun thing yeah again this is probably gonna be another simple build like the protector of ice but what can you do on the back of the box you see the how to change the mask the spider mask how to fire the bullets and the actual size of the mask and you see protector liwa Combined armed form. Like I said, nothing special. I'm going to go ahead and crack open my pocket knife here, folks. Got to open the tape. If I can. Ooh, just knocked my camera down. <laughs> I don't want that again. Here we go. Let me go ahead and open this bad boy up. Let's see how many bags this guy has. We got one giant bag here, one mini bag here, and the instruction book. And this is. Yeah, this is just the same image, just rotated. I'm not joking. I actually don't save these protector boxes, so... Go ahead and open this box up. And apparently this one comes with little vines. No. Get this bag open. And I like saving the big bags for stuff. Since it'd be easier. Go ahead and get my camera down here. Without it tipping over on me here. Yeah, I should have prepared a little bit here. Sorry, people. Now I'm a little lopsided here. This one. Sorry. Should have prepared a little bit here. <laughs> well, what can you do? And we're not going to be able to bend it as much. That's as close as we're going to get. And I just spent minutes doing that. Sorry. I'm go ahead and open the box here. And go ahead. Already opened the box. What am I freaking talking about? And just like the other spiders, clip on the legs. Come on, where's the other? There we go. 
And this is a darker blue spider. I mean, damn. I mean, without the eyepiece, see how this looks. God damn. It's cool. Enough about that. Start the building here. Take one of these melded ball joint bits. Slide in two long connect blue connectors, the short ends in the top and one of the side in the middle slots. Like this. Then you take the entire spine and slide them in the ball joint slot and the slot above it. Like so. And then take one of these yellowish armor bits, turn it around. Oh, if you don't turn around. Duh. You find the other ball jointed bit, wherever the hell it may be. There it is. There you go. Put it on like that, then you can do that. Now we start legs. Take one of these bits right here, clip them onto a foot, and then clip one of these on. There you go. Another leg. Like so. Where's the other foot? Right there. Clip it on to the torso, like so. Woohoo! And now we take these little vine little bits and put them into this little slot, peg holes on the foot, right here. I guess it's unique for jungle protector. Okay. And I that and take the translucent green armor bit and put them on the upper legs. Like so. And take this last yellow armor bit, clip it on there, peg this over it. There you go. Now we make the shoulder pads. Take one of these. Oh, first we gotta make arms. <laughs> I am a freaking idiot today with this. Fist. Yellow bit. Arm. Flip it on. There you go. Same thing for the other side. Clip these two arm bits together, clip the fist in. There you go. Now you can take one of these armor bits, clip it on there, and then clip on the uh, same side. But for his right arm, we clip in one of these. Okay. Next up, Terminator head, eyepiece, peg, and clip it on. And I know he looks at like, the fuck are you doing? So I'll straighten him up here. There we go. Now we make his weapon. Take this barrel, and then take the entire launching gimmick and just clip it in, and you'll hear a click. There you go. Turn it around. Take this cap to peg, slide it through. Well, not really cap to peg. And then take this little gray barrel connector. Slide it like so, to lock it in, and then take two of these little black 
connector, mini black connectors, and put them in the slots. Now, go ahead, slide two of these little 90 degree bend pegs through one of these pieces, and through the slots on the side, and just do that. Slide the other one through the same side. Come on. There we go. And then slide the two connector peg connectors and through the slots. There you go. Take this peg, slide it through, and slide one of these little yellow rings. Take a gear and another yellow ring. Take another barrel. Slide this end in here. The peg goes into the barrel. Slide this little bit over and then slide the connector clipped end of this piece into there and slide the connector into these dual blue mini blue pegs through the slots here and here Turn it around and arm it with six translucent green caps. Uh, go. And then take two of the, these two bits right here, slide them on the sides. Now, these look freaking cool in this color. Don't know why. And you have the crossbow. And go ahead. And first slide it through this hand right here. Come on. And then go ahead and slide it through the other hand. There you go. And piece there is a slot, clip on his mask. There you have the protector of jungle, armed and ready to fight. Definitely, definitely cool. I mean, wow, this weapon's freaking huge. Yeah. And I kind of dig the little shoulder bit they have going on here. Kind of like an actual archer or something. And yes, it does rotate and fire. At the gear here. Go ahead and get that back in here. I have to say, it's definitely pretty cool. Granted, the yellow bits throw off, throw it off a little bit. But yeah, he's nice. And yes, it does come with extra little bits, but the only extra bits I keep are the for the gun. That's it. But yeah, that's how you build the protector of jungle. And now we have to build the master of jungle. And now we move on to the Toa of this R build. Like I said, Liwa definitely, definitely has changed. Not only does his mask look awfully different compared to his original, it definitely looks kind of cool. 
granted, at first I thought Liwa, Pohatu, and Gali look weird. But holding him in hand, even looking him at the box, kind of looks better than I thought. I'll probably say the same thing for the other two, but who am I to say? Obviously, he has weapons. Gold mask. Blue spider. And his gimmick, which is kind of cool. And yes, both arms rotate for this figure. Thank God. But yeah. Enough about the box. Get this sucker cracked open. One giant bag. Instruction manual. One mini bag. And for some reason, they didn't wrap up the spine. We'll go ahead and actually close this box up here. And. I can actually get this thing to close. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Let's set him back here. Now we go ahead and open up these bags. Get this out of the way so you guys don't see it. The extra stuff from Protector. First, and like always, make the spider. Where's the last leg here? There it is. And then we have another dark blue spider. Okay, enough about him. Let's start building Liwa here. First off, we're going to start with his legs. Go ahead and take the foot. A long black leg bit. One of these gray upper leg bits. And then clip on an extender. Let's set that there. Make another one. Extender on gray upper leg, and that, and with his other foot, bingo, and then they clip it onto the lower bit of the spine. There we go. Alright, what's next? Wow, we're building up leg arm already. Take these two two yellow armor bits, clip them on the bottom of his legs, like so. And then, take two panels, like, take two of these panels and peg them on to the yellow armor bits, like so. Where is he? I wanna... There we go. And then take two green armor bits and clip them on the sides of the leg. There we go. 
What's next? Now we start the whole backpack assembly. Crack the neck here. Take one of these bits right here. Then take one of these gray dual connector pins and slide them in through like so. So the peg then shows up through the top. And then take the whole the gear assembly thing and peg it on like so. And now go ahead, take a blue dual connect mini connector and a gear, peg them together, and then clip it into the middle slot on the side like so. And do the same thing for the other side. And now we set in, put in place the two main gears for the arms. Two of the main gears for the arms. <laughs> and now take one of these capped pegs, slide a ball through the end all the way. And then take another mini gear, slide that on. And then just slide it through one of the slots on the top, like so. And then do the same thing for the other side as soon as I can find the pieces. Like this. There we go. Slide through here. Now, before we move on, these peg bits right here, let's go through these slats on these bits right here. Same thing for the other side. And then rotate it down like so. Put a gear, the third main gear, through there. Take another capped peg. Slide it through the joint there. Take two yellow rings. Like so. Then click but peg on the yellow turning gear. As you can tell, it rotates very tightly. Then take one of these bits right here. This big black connector. Slide this through the bottom slot. And then take one of these little spiny bits and peg it through. There you go. Turn it around and then take a mini black connector and put it through the middle slot on top. There you go. And now go ahead slide the two connectors through the top and middle slot and the slot just above the melted ball joint. Yeah, this is going to be fun. And now, I have no idea what they're having us make here. Take one of these, and then another one of these spine bits. Peg them together like so. Take one of these dual connectors and peg them in. And then take one of these little bar things and slide it like so. And now make another. Whatever this is. One of those. Another one of these. 
slide this through. And actually it says to slide them in through the joint like this. Right here. Okay. Okay. Not bad. And now we go ahead and put the head together. Same as always, head, eyepiece, peg, clip it on this, drop the head, then clip it on, make the arms, fist, long forearm bit, another one of these gray arm bits, gray piece bits, and just clip the arm on. Clip the other side. Fist and arm bit. There go. Getting there, people. Okay. Now we slide these two bits here. Slide this bit in through the slots just above and below the melted ball joint. And you'll see why we're doing this. Now we take green armor bits right here. Actually slide them on the ball joint like that. And then take these last two yellow armor bits. Flip them on right here. Green chest armor. Clip on the little chest plate. So. Take these two bits right here, well, one that's in my hand right now, and slide them through the bottom slots on his hands, like this. Same thing for the other side. Like that. Now he's reverse gripping swords. Now, gotta make two of these, so go ahead and take one of these weird wing bits, slide a yellow barrel through. Take one of these gray peg, light gray pegs, and then slide two yellow rings through. And then clip them into the top slots in his hand. Making that. And then make another one here. Wing bit. Barrel. Pegs. Rings. And then slide top hand and hello hand. There you go. And piece the resistance for this part. Clip on his mask. And there we have the Liwa Master of Jungle. I have to say, like I said, having him in hand looks a lot better. Granted, the little shoulder things are different, but what can you do? His mask is freaking detailed, though. Go ahead and actually clip that off his head. Freaking cool. Almost looks like a freaking space mask. That opens up. What the hell have I seen some... This kind of mask design. Where the hell have I seen it? Oh, well. Clip that on. 
And before we move on to the next segment of the video, we have to get this box out of the way so I have more room. Is he has an alternate form for his weapons. All we gotta do is separate both halves of his weapons from his hands. There we go. And then these pegs right here go on to go through the slots right there. And he can normal wield his these swords. And now he pretty much can fly. And if I rotate, go ahead. Ah, crap. There we go. See? Now this form is pretty freaking cool. Definitely more flight. Definitely more flight. Yeah, let's go with that. But yeah, that's this segment of the review. I mean, video. Now we gotta do the combined form. Which is not that different. Now we move on to Liwa's combined armed form. And all we really have to do is remove this weapon. Come on. Oh, I hate this. I hate these little blue pegs. They're a pain in the arse. Although one stayed in the weapon. Well, one didn't. Give me one second, people. There we go. And his legs are doing funky poses. There. And the only other thing we need to do here is remove these chest panels. This panel here. And this panel here. And before we move on, peg this back in. All we do for Liwa is remove his mask. And remove these swords. Now we go ahead and take these chest, these panel bits right here and peg them on his shoulders. And as you could imagine, just peg in his hand, his peg the weapon in his hands. There we go. And then clip on his gold mask. There we have the quote unquote combined armed form for Lewa. This form is probably the best out of the three, I have to say. I mean, it's freaking cool. And since we have weapons here and an practically naked uh, protector, at least give him the swords so he knows how to fight. There we go. And just set his mask off right there. Now, I, again, I would recommend these sets. Liwa definitely improves. It's still just a little weird compared to what we've seen him as before. But what can you do? Liwa was kind of the goofy one of the group. Not 
talking normal like you and I. But yeah, enough about that. Go ahead and end this here. With this being the Bionicle 2015 Liwa Master of Jungle and Protector of Jungle R build, may the Schwartz be with you. And good night. Yeah, yeah, yeah.